Let's now create a business or ministry connection card. Let's now create a business card using Microsoft Publisher. We go in under the Publications for Print, click on that, and let's go to Business Cards. Now, there's all sorts of different templates that we could use, different designs. Ahead of time, though, I was looking through them, and I thought this would be a really nice one for men's ministry. It's, it's solid, it's masculine, it, it, um, it has a good style, and so I thought, that would be very nice. Now we open it up and you see it already has some, some pre-entered material. Now if you took the time to put in your personal information, under personal information, that would all pop up. What I did is I did a little bit ahead of time to show you how you can enter something in for a ministry. You can enter in various things. I used my husband's name, Paul Pran, as the example here, and um, his job position. Now I'm actually though going to erase that because I'm going to put that up in the same line, so that comes up with his name, uh, the organization's name, the address, and by default it has a phone, fax, and email. We probably wouldn't use fax, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Now, um, if we had a motto, we could put that in here. Um, now. It will put in logos, but it wants to put its kind of logo in there. So I find it better actually to add a logo when we start building the card itself. Now one other thing though that's really neat is you can select a color scheme. Now what's great about this is not only will the colors show up in the border, but they will show up as selections for lines, for printing, uh, letters, whatever. Um, you can pick any of the different color schemes that publisher has, but I happen to pick this one because it matches the colors in the logo that I created. So let's just click on Update, and ta-da! We have the start of a business card. It's got the colors that, um, if you remember, we used to create Logo Smarts. Now, what I'm going to do is, to be able to start working on this one, I'm going to shrink it down, and I'm doing that so that I can take some of the individual sections and move them out of the way, and in many cases get rid of them. Uh, the um, under construction men's ministry, that's actually going to be in our logo, so we'll get rid of that. We're going to want to keep the address. We're going to want to keep uh, Paul's name. We're going to want to keep our contact information. And then these other two things, we'll just get rid of them. Um, yep, we don't want their logo. Okay, now we've got our basic information. We've got our basic template in Microsoft Publisher. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to insert the template that we created. Go under Insert, Picture from File, and the demo files. Let's just put the logo in there. Now, you notice when um, you create the logo in Logo Smarts, you get the entire logo and all of the white space surrounding it. We obviously want to crop this, and in Publisher, that's quite easy to do. You hit the Crop tool and you are able to crop when you see those little handles all around. You just click on one and that cuts out the material that you're cropping down. Just select the different ones and crop away. Now, once you get pretty close, you might want to do it a little bit, a little bit more fine-tuning and for that, just increase it in size and then that enables you to do it just a little more closely so you really don't have any extra white space around it. Alrighty, that looks pretty good. Now then, when you click off the um, image itself, you can then resize it. You hold down your Shift key and we could resize it. And isn't that great? You see, that's what makes it so neat. When you create the logos in Logo Smarts, everything then becomes one graphic. You can resize it. You can do all sorts of things with it. And uh, just a lot of neat things. Okay, let's just put this right in the, pretty much in the center of our, we'll go here. Let's shrink things down in size. We can go ahead and get rid of that bar because we're not really using that in this demonstration. Let's go ahead and tighten this up a little bit. 
and let's move these pieces over into the business card. Let's see, let's put this one over here. Let's put this one up here. And let's put Paul's contact information right below it. Let's just put both of those over there. Okay. Now, um, what we want to do now so that this doesn't interfere with some of the different with the um, the contact information and things like that. We're going to do a little fine tuning now because even though we have everything that we want, it doesn't look very good. So uh, one of the things that we could do on this is uh, first go up under Arrange and under Text Wrapping, put None. And then what that does is that way this doesn't really interfere with, with any, of your, any of your other things. Now what we want to do with this one, because it's hiding behind there, we want to go under Arrange under order and bring it to the front. Now, this is kind of okay looking, but again, it, it doesn't really look that good. For one thing, the typefaces don't really seem to, um, I don't really like how they look a whole lot.